Hello and welcome back to Dental Basics. I'm Dr. Parvati Raghavan. Let us find out the structures inside a nerve that influence the diffusion of local anesthetics. For this, we are going to take a look at the cross section of a peripheral nerve and how diffusion of LA occurs through the different layers inside, how nerves are formed by different numbers of fasciculi, what are the mantle bundles and core bundles and their location? Finally, how the structure of a nerve influences its recovery from LA. A peripheral nerve, example maxillary nerve, mandibular nerve, etc. are made of hundreds of axons which are tightly packed together. If you take a small section of the nerve, this is how it looks inside. These are the accents inside a fascicle or bundle. The accents are supported and protected by several layers of fibrous and elastic tissue. Nourishment to the nerves is provided by many blood vessels and lymphatics passing through these layers. These layers can be seen in a cross section of the peripheral nerve. Outermost is the epineural sheath or the nerve sheath. Epi means upon, that is over the nerve or outside the nerve or around the nerve. Epineurium, fasciculi is surrounded by perineurium and each axon surrounded by endoneurium. Now to make this easy, we can compare this with different layers of an orange. The orange peel, the fibers, the segments, its peel and the tiny juicy sacs inside. When local anesthetics are given, it has to diffuse through all these coverings or layers to reach the nerve and produce ionic changes across the nerve membrane. So now we are going to learn a little bit about all these structures. The blood vessels present are intrinsic blood vessels that are present within the fascicle. They are mainly nutritive in function and have poorly developed smooth muscles on its wall with minimal number of adrenergic receptors. The extrinsic blood vessels as you can see in the image, they lie outside. They are non-nutritive and respond to adrenergic stimulation. The blood vessels absorb and remove the LA from the nerve. Epineurium is a network of loose areolar connective tissue. Areolar connective tissue is made of loosely arranged collagen and elastic fibers. This loose network allows easy diffusion of LA. The epineural sheath, that is the outer layer, is denser and thicker and surrounds the nerve. Though the nerve sheath is denser and thicker, there is diffusion of LA. It doesn't act as a barrier. If you want to read more about diffusion, you can watch part 2 of the video on nerve impulse generation and conduction. Endo means in and endoneurium covers individual axons. Peri means around and perineurium binds them around into bundles. Each bundle is called fascicle. Each fascicle contains 500 to 1000 nerve fibers. A very interesting fact is that the number of fasciculi varies according to its anatomic location. For example, the lingual nerve at the lingula has an average of 3 fasciculi and opposite the third molar it has an average of 20 fasciculi. This is because from proximal to distal, 1. The number of fascicle increases. 2. Their diameter, that is thickness, decreases. Also, the fasciculi are not continuous and divide every few millimeters and rejoin, thereby distributing the nerve fibers to the adjacent fasciculi. It has been found that 
when an inferior alveolar nerve block causes permanent nerve damage, the lingual nerve is affected about 70% of the time and the inferior alveolar nerve is only affected by 30%. So there is more chance of injuries to lingual nerve than inferior alveolar nerve and this may be due to the nerve's fascicular pattern. There is of course no way to avoid this remote possibility of nerve damage. Perineurium binds axons into bundles. From this cross section, we enlarge a single fascicle. You can see that it contains axons of many nerves. This is the perineurium. It is made of connective tissue and has a lamellar that is layered arrangement consisting of one to several concentric layers of fibroblasts. Its thickness depends on the thickness of the fascicle it surrounds and varies from 7 to 20 micrometers. Thicker the perineurium, slower the rate of diffusion of LA. The perineurium thus forms a formidable barrier to the diffusion of local anesthetics. The innermost layer of the perineurium is called the perilemma and it is covered with a smooth mesothelial membrane. Mesothelial cells have a structure or morphology like squamous cells, but they are a unique type of epithelial cells. Mesothelial cells also form the three P's, that is pleura covering the lungs, chest wall and diaphragm, pericardium around the heart, and peritoneum lining the internal surface of the abdomen. Perilemma also forms a barrier to diffusion of LA into the nerve. Thus, perineurium and its innermost layer, the perilemma, are both barriers to LA. We look at the cross section of a nerve once again. Mantle bundles are fasciculi located near the surface of the nerve. Core bundles are fasciculi located near the center or core of the nerve. You can see that a lot more barriers have to be crossed by LA to reach the central core. When an inferior alveolar nerve block is given, mantle bundles are contacted by the LA solution first and are blocked completely soon after injection. Mantle innervate proximal or closer or nearer regions like the molar area. Core bundles innervate the distal or the further away areas like the central and lateral incisors. So by the time the LA reaches the core bundles, it gets 1. Dissolved in the tissue fluids and 2. Some get absorbed by capillaries and lymphatics. So the core fibers are exposed to a decreased concentration of local anesthetic. Due to this reason, for complete block of conduction, the local anesthetic solution has to be given in one adequate volume so that it can reach and block the core bundles, also in adequate concentration. Greater concentration of LA leads to a higher concentration gradient around the nerve leading to faster diffusion of LA molecules and more rapid onset of action. All nerve fibers within a peripheral nerve are not blocked even though clinically there may be excellent pain control. Recovery from anesthesia First areas proximal to the body that is closer to the body, example the third molar area, get back the sensations, followed by the distal areas that is front of the body, the incisor area. First, the mantle bundles gain back sensations that is lose their anesthetic effect. This is then followed by the core bundles which are inside. Recovery from anesthesia is slower than induction because the LA is bound to the nerve membrane and released at a relatively slower rate. This of course can be seen as an advantage since the duration of LA is prolonged.
That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe and share.